Hi friends, today I'm showing you how to make incredibly thin and tender homemade crepes with ingredients that you definitely have at home. Have you ever made this before? Though it may seem complicated, making good quality crepes at home isn't very difficult. I'm walking you through the entire process including crucial success tips, the best 6 ingredients to use and a multitude of filling ideas. All you need to do is to combine milk, egg, kefir if you have, salt and baking powder, flour and butter for frying. We mix all the ingredients in a bowl. We add 165 millimeters of kefir or iran. It's a mixed drink made from yogurt or also known as Turkish yogurt. Since it's a fermented drink, it really changes the taste and texture of crepes. We add 165 millimeters of milk, one egg, one teaspoon of salt, and one teaspoon of baking powder and mix it very well. Sometimes we mix baking powder with flour separately but you can do as you prefer. This time we decided to mix it all together. We add 115 grams of flour and we mix well with blender. Although it's not compulsory to use electronic blender, it works wonderfully to smooth out and cuts flour perfectly into all the wet ingredients. If you don't have blender, just use a mixing bowl and whisk. Meanwhile, we heat frying pan on an average to high heat. It's 7 out of 9 here. Generously, butter the pan and keep butter nearby for creasing the pan between each crepe too. The best part of crepes is the thin, delicate and buttery crisp edges. To achieve this, butter the pan between each crepe. You won't regret it. When you see bubbles, you can start flipping the side. Approximately, we cook each side for 30 seconds to 1 minute. And we do the same with the remaining one. Also, sometimes you can add one tablespoon of milk if you see that your liquid is getting dense or sick. It really helps to change the texture of our crepes too much better. We got 12 crepes in total in the end with this amount using only 6 ingredients. Making homemade crepes is easier than you think. They're ready for your choice of sweet or savory filling and toppings. Though I'm all about going overboard with toppings like Nutella and bananas or apple pie filling and melted peanut butter, sometimes it's nice to keep things simple such as with sour cream or berries jam or fresh berries. Thank you for watching our video, please subscribe to my channel and press like and leave a comment if you have this recipe in your country. There will be more recipes that are homemade and healthy. Thank you again and bye, see you very soon.